The following is a presentation of the HAN Network, the leader for local news, sports, and more in southwestern Connecticut. Campus of Stanford High School. This is the HAN Network's coverage of FCX softball. The Stanford Black Knights hosting the Norwalk Bears. Good afternoon, everyone. Frank Renito sitting alongside Kevin Coleman. We apologize for the late start. Some technical issues here at Stanford High. The Bears went down in the first score list as Samantha Troetti struck out. Skylar Suda earned a walk. Siglin Paglia grounding into a fielder's choice. And Dina de Blasio would ground out to short to end the inning. So we are through half an inning of play, and the Black Knights coming up to play 0-0. Kevin, how are you doing this afternoon? Good afternoon, Frank, here on a lovely day here in Stanford High School. Big lacrosse game, two of the top four teams right now in girls softball here in the FCAC. You know, these are some really strong teams that are really going to make a push here. You know, we only have a couple of weeks or so until playoffs really begin here for girls softball, and it's, you know, yeah, these two teams certainly have a chance to reach that final. And it will be Lauren O'Neill, the first baseman, leading it off for the Black Knights with the rest of the batting order. Here is Kevin Coleman. Well, stepping to the bat is the first baseman, number 18, Lauren O'Neill. Batting second, the third baseman, Maddie Santora. Batting third, the left fielder, Ali Buzio. Batting clean up the pitcher, Sarah Staley. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Dana Sericchio. Batting fifth, the catcher, Tori Cascuna. And the second baseman, Gloria Mattioli. In batting eighth, the right fielder, Kristen Osborne, the designated player, Kira Yakovone, and the flex center fielder is Diana Margarin. It will be Briani Garcia pitching for the Bears as this one is flied down the right field line off the fence, fair ball. Rounding second and heading for third is O'Neill, and she is in there with a leadoff triple. What a shot by Lauren O'Neill. I thought that had certainly a chance to get out as that ricocheted off the fence there in the right field corner. Just pulling that one down the short porch in right field. And just like that, Stanford getting off to a hot start. And the wind is blowing from left field towards right, so balls are going to carry that direction. I thought it might have just hooked foul at the end there, but it caught a piece of the line. So now a leadoff triple. And standing on third, hoping he brought in is O'Neill as the third baseman, Santora, steps up to the dish. It is Brianna Garcia doing the pitching for the Bears today is a low ball down in the dirt. O'Neill thought about going there, checked once, twice, but no need to force anything this early, especially with nobody out in the first. And it's not a deep backstop either, Frank. So don't expect any runners from third base to break home. And that is very apparent, as you can see from our bird camera. Uh, we've got right behind home plate there. It is very tight to that umpire and catcher compared to some of the looks we've seen this season. You talked about two of the top four teams in the conference. Stanford comes in tied for first at 10 and one as a grounder is foul on the third base side. They are in second place, excuse me, tied for the best record at 10 and one, but they are in second via the tiebreaker per their loss to Darianne, who we saw lose their first game last week against Ludlow. Norwalk not far behind, nine and two. They could move into second place with a win today, taking over the tiebreaker scenario against the Black Knights as another ball foul here from Santora. You see that last pitch by Garcia, a little bit of an off-speed pitch. Santora in a battle now, fouls off another pitch. The field for Norwalk will see Troetti behind the plate. Garcia, that's Briani, on the mound. Jessica Otto at first, Brenda Garcia at second. Catherine Siglampagli is the shortstop. Dina de Blasio plays third. Mia Lanzarato, Skylar Suda, and Gabriela Can Catino are your outfield from left to right. Garcia checks the runner at third. He's over to first in time. There's one away. And Ali Buzio is stepping up to the plate. Nice job there. Come back. Good job checking the runner by Garcia. Fires down to first base. The big first out for the Norwalk Bears here. Buzio, the left fielder. Her first plate appearance. As 
Zillow from Garcia is a ball down low. One and the count. Nice block by Troetti back there. She's already seen her make a couple of nice stops in the dirt using that chest protector. Here's the 1-0. Strike at the knees, one and one the count. Yeah, tr you see Buzzio saying to herself, yep, that was a strike. Nice pitch on that ins inside corner by Brianna Garcia. Bunt laid down, heading for home, and in there safe is O'Neal. Well, suicide squeeze action here in the first inning for the Stanford Black Knights. Big time call. So a perfect bunt laid down. Great read by O'Neal. She's able to score. Buzio will reach first. Going to score that in E1, though, as the throw from Garcia sealed over the head of the first baseman, Otto. Big star here for the Stanford Black Knights. Already get on the board. And again, really like that call for the suicide. Uh, standing in there now is the left-handed batter, Sarah Staley. She is the pitching partner dueling against Garcia this afternoon. If you look back, it's almost like a slash bunt too because she didn't show bunt right away. It was not until Garcia really let go of her release. That's where Buzzio laid down. And it was just a perfect place bunt right in front of the pitcher's mound, had a knife dribbled to it where it gave Lauren O'Neill the opportunity to run home. One out, one nothing Stanford leads, bottom of the first. Staley at the dish, and that ball is down low. Three and oh the count now to the captain. Standing on first is another one of the captains, Ali Buzio. You see Sarah Staley up in the box right now. As Garcia finds the plate, three and one the count. As it looked as though Staley taking all the way there. So far, Brianna, Gar Brianna Garcia is staying to that outside part of the plate. Has not come on the inside part at all in this at bat. Here's the 3-1. Swung on and missed. Full count now to Staley. Norwalk and Stanford, FCX softball on the HA Network. Here's the 3-2 to Staley. Back to the mound. Garcia will go over to first and advances the runner. Now it's too slow for the double play. But a runner in scoring position again with Sirikio, the shortstop, coming to the dish. Smart move by Brianna Garcia, yes. Stanford does get a runner in scoring position, but she gets the, the easy out at first base, get that big and important second out. I agree, very smart. It didn't look as though there was gonna be enough time to get it to second and, and just too much room for errors. This one is grounded to third. Quickly fielding and throwing to first is de Blasio to retire the side. But they score one run on one hit, one error, and one man left on. At the end of one, it's one nothing Black Knights on the HAN Network. Banking Well is doing good. That's why, with the support of local community partners, Bankwell has launched the Bankwell Pet Adoption Project to boost awareness about the hundreds of animals in local shelters that need a home. And when you donate to the cause using the Bankwell self-service coin machines, we'll match your donation. For details, visit mybankwell.com slash please adopt me. Bank smart, bank local, bank well. We are back at Stanford High on the HA Network. Frank Renito, Kevin Coleman. It'll be the first baseman, Jessica Otto, coming to bat for the Bears. Again, they went down. Strikeout, walk, fielder's choice, ground out. In the top half of the first, they trail 1-0. A perfectly executed suicide squeeze. 
produced our first and only run of the game so far. As that first pitch from Staley, low in the dirt. Kev, we were talking uh, during that period of technical difficulty. We weren't on the air yet, though, seeing Staley deal in the first. Totally different angle for softball from where we were last week. God, the off-speed pitches looked unbelievable coming out of Staley's hands. Well, the southpaw was dealing in that first inning. You talk about a healthy portion of change-ups and off-speed pitches, maybe even a little curve action there, but you know what? She mixes up her pitches because she's got that very high-velocity fastball. You see right there that she paints on that low part of the plate. She's got a lot on her plate here. She's got a lot she can throw. Right now, Norwalk hitters, especially in that first half of the inning, look fooled up at that. Well, Otto needs to be careful now as the 1-2 pitch was a fastball down low. You could hear the bench towards the end of the first inning. Watch for the change. Watch for the change as the Bears notice it very early on. Well, Toretti, the first batter in the, in the lineup for Norwalk, was fooled. As there it is. And... Desperately trying to fight that one off was Otto. It goes right back to the mound, and there is one away. You can just see it comes out, and it looks like she's pulling the string to just stop it in midair. Well, it, and it's almost like in baseball you have a knuckleball. It looks so tempting to hit, but it, it's you have to be so patient in the batter's box. You know, now you're gonna have you're gonna start to see throughout the game batters start to play a little back in that batter's box a little bit. Boy, that off speed's nasty. Uh, swinging at the first pitch is the right fielder, Gabriella Catino. She fouled that one off to the third base side, so it's 0-1 now. Uh, Staley working quickly. In the field for Stanford, you'll see Ali Buzio, Diana Mar Marjorian. Kristen Osborne from left to right in the outfield. Ooh. That's the changeup. So nasty. I mean, it's just unfair. Lauren O'Neill plays first. Gloria Mattioli at second. Dana Sericchio short. And Maddie Santora is third. Staley is pitching. And our former athlete of the week winner, Tori Cuscana, sitting behind the plate as she scoops that one in the dirt. The count now two and two. Frank, in that last changeup, that last off-speed pitch, see Cuscuna. Sort of giggled to herself back to the coaching staff for how nasty of an off-speed pitch that was. As she comes back to it again, mm -hmm. and it did not miss by much. Good eye, though, from Catino laying off that one. Very hard take there. That's not easy to do. It's so tempting to try and hit that, but good job there by Catino. As Staley comes with the fastball, grounder to first. O'Neal fields herself, puts it away, and there are two down in the top half of the second. And you talk about laying off that pitch, how difficult it is, especially when it's up in the zone and it's sitting right there and you just want to go at it. So right. uh, it was a good at bat from Catino. I like that Staley committed to the fastball 3-2 and just overpowered the batter. And now she works against the number seven hitter. She is the left fielder, number seven, Mia Lanzarato. Now I go back to what I was saying before about how, you know, it, She's unpredictable, and to come back with two strikes, a fastball, and really just jam her inside. That's just, just great pitching right there by Sarah Staley. As the first two pitches to Lanzarato are down low. You see Lanzarato's back foot on that back part of the batter's box. As that's an off-speed pitch in there for a strike, two and one the count. You're right, Lanzarato, one of the first batters we've really seen get back into the box. But many of the softball hitters like to be up on the plate. As this one is poked towards center field and will drop for a hit as Marjorie has to take it off a bounce. It is the first hit of the game for Norwalk. And there is life here in the top half of the second with a runner on and two outs. And here comes the pitcher, Briani Garcia, for her first at bat of the afternoon. Great bat, uh, bat there by Mia Lanzarado. Laid off some tough off-speed pitches with two strikes. Pokes out a little single in the center field. As the runner going, grounder down the line. Fielding in fair territory is O'Neill, And that will retire the side. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on through one and a half. It's Stanford one, Norwalk nothing. On your home for FCX Sports, the HAN Network. Right, safe and reliable. Mr. 
MrHandymanCT.com. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. MrHandymanCT.com. Have a sports injury or a slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Biking, golf, tennis, soccer, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care open Monday through Saturday, now at three locations. 131 Kings Highway North in Westport, the I Park Building at 761 Main Avenue Norwalk, and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. At the Milford Bank, we offer an extensive selection of lending products and services to meet virtually any need. Submit your application online in our Mortgage Web Center. Start to finish, you can apply for a loan in as little as 10 minutes. Our knowledgeable and helpful staff are available to meet with you at your convenience. To learn more about what we can do for you, stop by one of our Milford Bank offices or visit us at milfordbank.com. The Milford Bank, always there. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back at Stanford High, bottom of the second. Stanford coming up to bat. They lead 1-0. It will be the catcher, number two, Tori Cascuna, to lead it off for the Black Knights. And contrary to what we saw at the end of that inning, Cascuna way up on the plate, Kev. As that one misses outside for a ball. The 1-0 is cut on by Kiskuna, flied out to the gap in left field, and that one's going to drop at the base of the wall. They're going to say it's gone. It looked like it might have gone underneath, but it is out of here. Kiskuna, a solo shot, and it's 2-0 Stamford. Some hesitation from the umpire there as to whether or not that one had exited the park. Kev, from where we're sitting, it looked like it might have landed right at the base of the wall, maybe snuck underneath there based on the reaction of Suda in center. But it is a solo shot for Kaskuna, and now the lead has doubled. It's 2-0 Black Knights in the bottom of the second. Well, listen, you know, that didn't look like a home run off the bat of Kaskuna, but traveled really well out there, good bat speed. Enough little pop in that bat. He gets out of there for a solo shot. Good start here to this inning. As Mattioli out in front of that one, and now we'll see how Briani Garcia can respond. And head coach Tony Esposito said, expect to see some home runs today, guys. Sure enough, we have. As this one is fouled back towards the dugout on the first base side. And the count now quickly 0 and 2 to Mattioli. Garcia taking the sign from Truetti. Here's the windup and the pitch. Just missed outside. Nice shot by Truetti to try and keep that ball there. She let it hang there for a couple seconds. Count still 0-2. And this one is fly down the left field line. Giving chase is Lanzarato, but it is foul. We'll do it again. This is a big spot here for Brianna Garcia. She needs to battle back here, get that confidence back. And it's never easy giving up a home run and coming back. She's got to forget about it and move on. It's only a 2-0 game. Certainly in a fight here with Mattioli right now. And this is one she wants to come out on top of. As this one fouled off again. And they'll continue to work. And, and you're right, this is such a big at bat, you want to see her bounce back, and it just is magnified more and more now with the foul balls. 
as Matty only takes Ooh. one outside. And if you're Garcia, you really don't want to go through this type of an at-bat and see Matty only come out the victor and on first base via a walk or a hit now. And especially, you know, she wanted that called strike three on that last pitch. Very tough take, though. Big pitch coming up. As this one is popped up, is it going to stay in play? Yes, as Troetti makes the catch on that one right in front of the backstop overhang. And there's one away. Nice catch by Troetti. Good call by her. It's very important. Call off your teammates. And up now is the right fielder, Kristen Osborne. Black Knights lead 2-0. Kaskuna starting off the second with the solo shot. And now Osborne standing in there, takes a ball down in the dirt, 1-0. Uh, they're two of the top teams in the FCAC, but also, Kevin, up at the top of Class Double L right now. Stanford currently sits second in the rankings of the state. Norwalk not far behind there, seven. This is a grounder to the hole on the left side. And Osborne on with a hit as she sneaks one between third and short. Nice piece of hitting there by Kristen Osborne. Great contact off the bat. Gets right through the hole between short and third. Nice swing. And here is the nine hitter now, Kira Yakovone. One away, bottom of the second. The pitch from Garcia. Cut on him, missed, Owen won the count. Still only one out here, but you're gonna see the middle, middle infield at double play depth. You got to see them during warm-ups, and they did a nice job of turning double plays. As that one misses outside, it's now one and one. You're right, Norwalk's infield during that warm-up looked locked in. Very focused, but one thing that was noticeable from everyone sitting around near us, it's a very interesting interesting field here at Stanford High. There are a lot of unfamiliar bounces to opposing teams, and you could see players asking for one or two extra grounders their way to get comfortable out there. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could just see it on on your screen right now. There's a couple of divots in the infield, but you're right. The, some of these balls take weird hops. As that one misses outside. The count now two and two to Yakovone. Stanford really patient at the plate this half inning here. Really working the count deep. Each at bat. As this one is popped over towards third base. It sneaks foul over the head of de Blasio. So we will do it again. As Garcia in another battle here. As Garcia needs a ball here. You can see Troetti oh, asked, yeah. asked for a new one. He's going to need that. You can see, Frank, if you look out in left center right now, big gap between big center gap. field and left field right now. As this one is grounded to third, firing over to second for one, they will not be able to get to first in time. Good play by de Blasio, though. As on via the fielder's choice is Yakovone, and now we're back at the top of the order with Lauren O'Neill, who led off the first with that triple down the right field line. She did not miss leaving the yard by too much. Two way, runner on first and O'Neill takes a strike on the outside corner. Nice pitch there, going the off speed, that first pitch. Lauren O'Neill was very aggressive in that first at bat. She's the lead off hitter and that's, this is a part of the order where Brianna Garcia has to be careful. As O'Neill pokes one out towards left field, charging his Lanzarato, she'll make the play and retire the side. One run, two hits, one of them doing all the damage. Kuskuna leaving the yard. No errors and one left on at the end of two. Black Knights two and the Bears nothing. 
on the HAN Network. Spring has sprung at Walter Stewart's Market, and we're celebrating the new season with fresh takes on spring. From the finest produce around to guaranteed fresh seafood delivered daily by the best local supplier. Not only are we your time-saving one-stop shop for everything you need this season, our personable team is always ready with a helping hand. Shop Stewart's for the best of spring. Find us at 229 Elm Street, New Canaan, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. At InSports Trumbull, the game is always on inside. Sign-ups are now open for one of our most popular programs, the New England 80 Elite Lacrosse Division I and Division III Showcases. With D1 and D3 coaches in attendance, players will receive a 60-minute webinar with Director of Recruiting Hans Hansen, a custom N80 penny, custom shorts, and a video of all games. Last year's event sold out quickly, so sign up now for the next showcase coming in January 2018. Like and follow us on Facebook. Back on the HA Network at Stanford High for an out-of-town update. Let's go over to Kevin Coleman. Well, Frank, over in baseball right now, they got the rivalry between Darien and New Canaan. New Canaan just took a 5-3 lead after being down 3-1. Berger hits a grand slam just like that. 5-1. 5-3, excuse me. And Darien, look at that, Frank, just came back. They're up 6-5. There he goes, a bunt. Laid down here, and the throw goes well into right field. Giving chase is Osborne. Heading for third is Garcia. She slides in safely, and that is just what the Bears needed. Wow. I mean, that went all the way to the wall. Big opportunity here for Norway. That's what they needed. That was a great bunt laid down by Garcia. And uncharacteristic of Kaskuna there as that ball just sailed over the head of Mattioli. Osborne had come in to back it up, but it kicked right and went all the way down the wall, all the way down the line, excuse me, which allowed Brenda Garcia to make her way to third. And that goes back to the top of the order now as Troetti is up, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. You hear Coach Esposito say, watch for the squeeze. They're showing bunt. It's already showing bunt, pulls back. They pitched out and fired on to third. And another out of time update. The Richfield Tigers are up 4 nothing on Staples. That's the bottom of the second round. Right I was going to say, that's another game we need to keep an eye on there. Ridgefield, West Hill, and New Canaan are currently tied for first in the baseball standings. Followed by Darianne, Norwalk, and Staples. Is this one up high? Charlie pulls back, so the count two and one. Softball, it's very similar. You've got Darianne, Stanford, West Hill, and Norwalk, your top four. They've started to separate themselves from the pack, playing very well here. As Charlie tries to lay down the bunt, but it pops back foul, and the count now two. And two, just missed over the top. And regardless, you know, that went foul, but a great jump by Kaskuna. And in that, in that Richfield Staples game, that is in softball, not baseball, Frank. And it's 1 1 in baseball right now between Richfield and Staples. As here's the 2 2. Toretti takes up high, pass ball here, Garcia. Might have gotten halfway down the line there and then headed back to third. And the count moves full. And that's a play that if you're going, you're going. And there's no, you can't hesitate. So smart move to stay at third, still no out. Tretty still showing bunt. Uh, she cuts on this one and is fouled back. A little extra zip on that fastball by Sarah Staley. But a good job of fouling it off by Toretti. At two strikes, very unlikely she's laying down the bunt. Would you rather just wind up, be ready to swing instead of showing bunt? Does she look a little late there? She can show bunt, but she's swinging away. And she pulls it back, waited on the changeup, and the fly ball to left is caught. Buzio fires it in, and she'll hold the runner at third. Great play out there. You, you thought for sure in a play like that it was going to be a sack fly, but great job by Ali Buzio there. Great throw in. A big and important first out here. 
And it brings up the center fielder, Skylar Suda, who walked in her first at bat. As she tries to lay down the drag bunt there, fire towards third. And Garcia back a little closer than I'm sure Coach Gatrix would have liked. <laughs> I like that throwdown though by Kiskuna. They're gonna take a double check down there with the third base umpire. That is Al Vasquez in the field today. Myra Angelou is behind the plate. As the drag bunt here. You're gonna oh, see she the pull back again. You're gonna see the corners come all the way in. Pretty much now that middle of the infield is wide open as you have Sirikyu you're gonna cover third as a shortstop. And at second base, you have Mattioli covering first. There's both O'Neal and Santora almost halfway down the line. Santora fields, fires to first. You had two Black Knights over there and taking the throw off a hop was O'Neal. They'll say she was on the bag and there are two away. Nice play by Santora there in the hot corner. Fielding that, throwing down. Great job. Both Mattioli and O'Neal were <laughs> on the bag there. Ready Again, to take that scoop, but the scoop was just as important too. Good job by O'Neal getting back as Siglin Paglia hits a slow roller to third. Firing over to first is Santora. And that will retire the side. So the leadoff runner reaches third, but she is stranded out there. No runs, no hits, one error, and one left on at the end of two and a half. Stanford leads 2-0 on the HAN Network. You don't have to go far for authentic Neapolitan cuisine and renowned wood fire pizza. Pizzeria Loretano of Bethel is a contemporary Italian bistro specializing in authentic wood-fired brick oven pizza Napolitana. Pizzeria Loretano was named one of America's top 1,000 Italian restaurants in 2008 by Zagat and recommended by Jane and Michael Stern on National Public Radio's Splendid Table. Located close to the Bethel Cinema, we focus on quality and our food is always made to order. Join us for live jazz Sundays from 6 to 8. Find our schedule, menu, and more at PizzeriaLoretano.com and like us on Facebook. Did you know heart attacks and strokes are the leading cause of death in America? Protect the health of you and your loved ones. Talk to a doctor about heart disease. Hi, I'm Dr. David Pazer with ProHealth Physicians, encouraging you to stay informed about health matters that affect you. ProHealth Physicians is on the pulse of social media to share information about health and nutrition with the community. Get up-to-the-minute alerts, including ProHealth Physicians news and upcoming events. Connecticut's leading group of primary care doctors is just a click away. Back at Stanford High, bottom half of the third coming up here, FCX Softball, Stanford and Norwalk on the home of FCX Sports, the HAN Network. Coming off those two great plays in the field, it'll be the third baseman, Maddie Santora, leading it off for the Black Knights. She grounded out to the pitcher, Brianni Garcia, back in the first. She is 0-4-1. You're right, Frank, she had those two clutch plays at third base. Great job by Sarah Staley to get out of that jam. It is the leadoff batter who's been trouble for Garcia so far as Buzio can't make the play. Excuse me, that's Lanzarado who can't make the play out in left field. And that's a tough play out there, especially in foul territory. He's got a lot of room out there. Great attempt, though. Great effort. Certainly fighting the sun out in left field. It is starting to set a little bit behind the high school. Cloud cover increasing here. It's been a beautiful swing day. Uh, this one grounded to the right side. Brenda Garcia fields, fires to first, and there is one away in the third. Nice job there by Brenda Garcia. She's got that good glove over there at second base, fires down to second. Definitely a little chilly out for the second week of May, but mostly sunny skies throughout the morning, not too windy. As this one grounded up the middle. Nice piece of contact there from Buzio. And she is on with a single. Nice aggressive hitting there. Beautiful swing. Right back up the middle. Nice hit there by Buzio. That'll bring up Staley. 0 for 1, grounded back to the pitcher. One out and a runner on first. 
Pitcher-pitcher matchup here. As Garcia's first one misses and is 1-0. Him. Here's the uh, 1 L. That one's outside. 2 and L is looking behind us, Kev, over the high school. There are some dark and ominous clouds making their way into play. Don't you dare say it. Those are the only adjectives I'll be using. <laughs> uh, Staley swings over the top of that one. 2 and 1. Oof. Good pitch from Garcia. That was ball three right there. Nasty pitch by Brianna Garcia. Getting Staley to chase there. That's Garcia, excuse me. That's Staley laying down the bunt. Great job by Troetti. Thryers down to first and now caught in a run down here is Buzio. She slides back into the bag. She's out. Great job there by Norwalk. Get that out at first. Get her in that pickle, it's never easy to do, but great job by Noah Bears defensively. So Staley down 2-4, Buzio down 4-5. I think that was the center fielder who came in to cover <laughs> the bag eight. Either way, it's an inning ending double play through three innings. It is Stanford two, Norwalk nothing on the HAN Network. At Worcester School, we believe summer is a time for kids to be kids. We provide the safe and nurturing environment for them to find activities match their interests and allow them to create lasting friendships. Summer at Worcester offers seven weekly sessions at our Danbury campus from Monday, June 26th through Friday, August 11th for pre-K to grade eight. Find out more about our extended hours, new optional lunch program, and a new low price at summer at worcester.org or 203-830-3921. Summer at Worcester, experience the difference. Want a new experience in car buying? Step Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with one of the largest inventories of new two- and four-door Wranglers. We are Connecticut's Wrangler headquarters. Come visit our new Ram Truck Center. Browse our websites, scapchryslerjeep.com or scapdodge.net to find the new Jeep, Chrysler Dodge car, minivan, or Ram truck you've been looking for. Just two miles from both I-95 or the Merritt Parkway exit 44. Save thousands right now during the Drive and Discover event. Now through May 31st. Top half of the fourth coming up. It'll be de Blasio, Otto, and Catino batting for the Bears. De Blasio 0 for 1, as are Ozzie, Otto and Catino. Just one hit so far for Norwalk, as Staley has been very strong through the first three innings. Our first pitch of the fourth is a grounder to second. Matty only knocks it down, fires over to first. What a stretch by O'Neill, and there's one away. Great job by Mattioli to keep that ball in front of her. Just gets her out at first base. Close play. Stepping in now is the first baseman, Jess Otto. She grounded back to the mound in the second inning in her first at bat. Hoping to reach base for the first time here as the off-speed pitch misses up high. I said that one may have just slipped out of her hands a little bit there. That off-speed landed upstairs. As you can hear the wind start to pick up here at Stanford High. Oh, nice pitch. Otto swings over the top of that one, and the count now one and one. Frank Renito, Kevin Coleman. Happy to be with you here on May 8th. It's the push for the playoffs heating up in all these FCX sports. As one hit right back to Staley, knocks it down. Great play by Sarah Staley. You're going to see Coach Esposito check up on her. <laughs> Coach Esposito <laughs> asking if she's all right. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that came back pretty hard at her, but it looked like it hit her glove. Knocked it down, kept it in front of her. Great play by Sarah Staley. As that brings up the right fielder, Katino. Grounded out to first in the second as Staley now finds herself in a groove. Starting a deal here. As Katino out in front of that one. Third base coach almost got that. Two outs, 
Count is 0 and 2. Staley looking to go 1, 2, 3 for the first time this afternoon. Catino stands in her way. She did not miss by much. Good take. That's not easy to do. That ball may have been up closer to the strike zone than you think. But I got to think here on a 1 2 count, she's looking change up here off speed. As that one's going to stay fair, Santoro. Yeah, yeah I, I'm surprised that they didn't call that sooner. Hit off her foot. That automatically means a foul ball. Do it all over again. But actually, that may benefit her. She gets to run it off because that's, that's, that stings when it comes off the foot there. We've got an official timeout here. So they're going to allow Catino to tie those shoes again. Are you a bunny ears kind of guy, or do you loop it, swoop it, and pull? Loop it, swoop it, and pull, my man. I prefer Velcro, but <laughs> I'm just a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Lots more action coming your way this week. We got girls lacrosse tomorrow from Ridgefield High and on Wednesday as well. We'll be at Norwalk High. You see the outfield play a little in now. As the off-speed pitch fouled. Good job by Catino there. You can see her almost have to double clutch the swing, uh, just able to fight it off and get a piece of it. Well, when your body's already leaning towards the ball and ready to make that swing, you have to adjust. It's not easy to do. Good job just fouling it off. As fastball blown by her though, strike three. And that will do it in the top half of the fourth. One, two, three, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on. Stanford up two. We'll go to the bottom half right after this. At Budget Blinds, we're in business to frame the light, the day, and the night. So we give you an exclusive combination of high style, expert service, our no surprises pricing, and our no questions asked warranty. We believe that everyone, at every budget, deserves style and service. Isn't that a beautiful place to be? Portofino Restaurant and Wine Bar in Bethel. Fresh and simple food is our concept. Owned and operated by brothers Rocco and Louis, Portofino has a distinct and diverse food and drink menu. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Come join us for live local music on Tuesdays and Sundays, Wednesday nights for mouthwatering prime rib, and every Thursday night is ladies' night. Planning a party? All our catering menus are personalized to suit your event and your budget. Join us at the Dolan Plaza, 213 Greenwood Ave, Bethel, and call us at 203-797-8131. Like us on Facebook. Bottom half of the fourth coming up. It'll be Sericchio, the shortstop, Kaskuna, the catcher, and Matty Oli, the second baseman, going for the Black Knights. Kev, out of pitcher Briani Garcia, though, what has impressed you from her standpoint today? Uh, she's battled through everything. You know, she had... She did a great job, especially after that, giving up that home run. You know, just coming back, firing out, getting some big outs, and her defense has really stepped up for her. And you know what? At the high school level, strikeouts are great, but trust your defense at the end of the day, and her defense has stepped up for her, but she's done a great job. As this one just yanked foul by Sericchio. And really, when you think about it, it's two pitches at the start of the first and the start of the second inning that separate this game from being... Zero, zero, still. Right, and you know, the, exactly. It could really just be one nothing if she isn't, it's just a mistake pitch she left over across the plate that Kaskuna just drove out. But other than that, she's been stellar. As this one is grounded up the middle, Sericchio all over Garcia on that bat bat. And she is on with a leadoff single. And that brings up Kaskuna, who did go deep just two innings ago. Great hitting, though, by Sericchio. Punch that one back through the middle. Nice piece of hitting. Here's the first pitch, ball outside, and the count one and zero. Garcia dealing with a very calm demeanor, look composed the whole time. And when put in a jam, she's not letting it get the better of her. It's the one zero. Grounded to short, just under the glove of a reaching Siglin Paglia. And just like that, the first two hitters are on. But nobody out. 
Just like that, Stanford's being aggressive here. Looks like we're gonna get a pinch runner. Uh, so spell Kaskuna on the base path and coming in will be Morgan Yakovone to do the pinch running. You do that because you know you want to give Kaskuna the opportunity to put her gear back on her equipment. It takes a while to put you know, all those pads back on. Yakovone's got some speed out there as well. Standing in there is Gloria Mattioli, second baseman, as she pops one up to the mound. Better call it. Infield fly rule was called. As coming over to make that play was Brenda Garcia, the second baseman. So now with one away, we will see Kristen Osborne, who singled in her last at bat. And this one is grounded up the middle. Siglin Paglia flips to second. Garcia's throw to first is not in time. They get one of the lead runners, and there are just two away now with Kira Yakovone coming to the plate. Good job by Osborne to hustle down that line, beat it out, keep this inning alive. Norwalk still has an opportunity here. Brianna Garcia has been in this position before with two outs and a runner in score position. She's battled through it. We'll have another pinch runner here. As Kristen Osborne will be spelled on the base path. And it's going to be Maselin Stateri who will do the pinch running. So two down, Yakovone who granted into a fielder's choice in the first, looking to build upon the Black Knights lead. As another grounder to Siglin Paglia short, she fields, throws over to first, and that will do it in the fourth. No runs on one hit, no errors, and two left on. At the end of four, it's 2 nothing Black Knights on the HAN Network. UK Gourmet is the largest specialty grocer in the area, featuring food from England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Over 80 teas to choose from and a brilliant assortment of biscuits to go with them. Over 70 cheeses from grass-fed cows, which makes a smashing difference in taste. The creamiest chocolate you'll ever taste using no artificial colors or preservatives. So say hooray for UK Gourmet, 78 Stony Hill Road in Bethel, or visit ukgourmet.us. The new fishing season is fast approaching, so it's time to head over to the dock shop and get your gear in order. We're now offering bait in both Darien and our Westport location. The dock shop can service and repair your rods and reels, spool up new line, and fill any empty space you might have in your tackle box. Whether you're a fisherman, boater, or beach bum, the dock shop is a unique place to shop. The dock shop, 51 Tokenique Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, dockshop.com. Top of the fifth from Stanford High School, Frank Cardito and Kevin Coleman on the HAN Network. 7-8-9 in the order for the Bears. Lanzarato, Garcia, and Garcia. It will be Bree before Brenda. As Norwalk looking to break through against Sarah Staley, who has been wheeling and dealing from the start, Kev. She's been nasty so far in this game. Just the healthy options of fastballs, off-speed pitches. You don't know what's coming next. Rarely have seen her fall behind in counts too, which has really been impressive. Is that in there for a strike? And it's quickly 0-2 to the left fielder. She's just going after hitters, plain and simple. She's not trying to get too cute here. She's going right after hitters. See if she comes with the off speed. Nope, tried to blow it by her. The fastball fouled off. And we will do it again. Get to the 
Top of the fifth now, later part of the game. Looks like she's adding velocity on her fastball there. Here's the 0-2, the changeup just fooled goodness. Lanzarato and there is one away. That was filthy. Unfair, that is just too good. That off-speed pitch, man. Oof. So here is the pitcher, Briani Garcia. You see the corners come in. Come in, Maddie. Expecting bunt. As Garcia takes, and the count, 0-1. Outfield two, playing a little shallow, especially in right field. Christian Osborne playing in. A lot of room out there in right. And left center. Corners in all the way across. This one grounded back to the mound. Slips through the legs of Staley, but waiting eagerly to field and throw to first was Mattioli, and there are two away. Nice job by Mattioli there. Had the awareness to get over and grab it. Let's go. And that will bring up Brenda Garcia, the second baseman, over to pick her sister up. With two down in the top of the fifth. Again, the corners are up as a pitch down low and away. First ball of the inning we've seen from Staley. Here's the 1-0. Cut on. Fouled our way, and it's now 1-1. One one. There, was, there was no fence there. It's coming right at us, Frank. Eric would have caught it. <laughs> Eric Gendron pressing buttons at the opposite end of the table today. That's why they call him the director. As the 1-1 pitch, cut on our way again, and it's quickly now 1-2. And Garcia will have to protect against both the fastball and off speed here. And that's what makes it so difficult to go up against Sarah Staley because you just don't know what's coming. You always have to keep that off the pitch in the back of your mind. Uh, she went fastball this time though, fouled back. We'll do it again. Good job by Brenda Garcia though, just to foul that one off. You can see she was a little out in front. She was expecting fastball there. Top of the order waiting on deck. As this one is grounded to short, six. <laughs> Sir Riccio fields there. Throws over to first. And another one, two, three inning from Staley. We are through four and a half. Black Knight still in control. Stanford coming to bat right after this. I can't believe it. Well, Dad, you did it. You sold 160 cars. Ready to go back upstairs now? I think it's time. I wonder how the boys are making out in their new office. Not what I had in mind, Kyle. What, Dad? Maybe we should retire. Right now, lease a 2017 Rogue S for only $139 a month. Isn't it time you got Millerized? When it comes to considering the outside of your home, just imagine the possibilities. Whether your dream is a stunning freeform pool or a tranquil secluded garden, the team of professionals at Stonebridge Associates will make it a reality. We offer unparalleled landscape design and construction, masonry development, pools, spas, and water features, as well as landscape and garden maintenance. No other firm can offer the same level of creativity, quality, and personal attention. Discover the possibilities at stonebridgeassociates.net or call 203-544-8376 today. Top of the order coming up for Stanford here in the bottom of the fifth as it will be O'Neal, Santora, and Buzio with the pitcher Staley in the four spot. Should we get that far? Kev, it's another week and it's another game we've seen both baseball and softball this year. Pitchers duels seem to be a recurring theme. That not the case back in New Canaan right now though. 10-7 <laughs> is the Darien lead last we saw. That was through three innings of play. Yeah, can we just talk about it's the third inning? Uh, My goodness. <laughs> Defense optional in that one as it looks as though they're trying to match the score from the Turkey Bowl it's a hitter's back on Thanksgiving. Here in Stanford, though, it's been all pitching for the last three innings as O'Neill lines one out to center, moving to her right and able to make the catch 
with Skyler Suda. Nice oh, catch out hit. there by Suda. Nice piece of hitting though by Lauren O'Neill. All game long, she's really been aggressive on that first pitch. As Maddie Santora comes up to the dish. 0 for 2 with two ground outs. And she takes that first pitch outside for a ball. Santora has been great at third base today, making some big time stops in the hot corner. Here is the 1 0 from Garcia. Down low, and it is 2 0. Already in the at bat, showing good plate discipline here. Bears would love to get through the top of the order here. Without surrendering any damage, they're just down to six outs now. Chasing these two runs that came back in the first and second inning. And that's, you know, Stanford defensively has to be careful because they're winning, but it's only 2 nothing. Still plenty of time for Norwalk to come back. As a 3-0 in there for a strike, and Santoro going to be given the green light again, probably ready to go here. Hitters count. Here is the 3-1, cut on, slow roller. Garcia lets it go, coming up from third and unable to make the play was de Blasio. Looked like she just threw Otto off the bag and couldn't quite hold the leg. So on via the error is Santora. Good hustle there by Santora to get down to first base. And now it is the left fielder, Ali Buzio. She's one for two with a single and reached via an error as well. As a grounder to third, de Blasio gonna go to second with it. Garcia doesn't have time to come across to first, but they'll get the lead runner two away. Nice bounce back play from de Blasio over at third. Yeah, nice fire down to second. Buzio's got too much speed though. Smart move just to hold the ball and get that force out at second. As here is Sarah Staley, the pitcher, hoping to add a little insurance to that 2 nothing lead. At the lefty out in front of that one, it's fouled on the first base line. She'll have a word now with manager Esposito, who is coaching first today. I gotta say, Frank, these Stanford jerseys are pretty cool with the captains. They have that little C on the sleeve there on that left hand, left shoulder. That's pretty cool, I like that look. Staley takes that one down low. Not going. Was Buzzy O. The count one and one. I'm actually, I'm not the biggest fan. I, we'll get into that a little bit more in the sixth. We've got more time here, but for me, C's on a baseball jersey. Uh, Agreed. You don't see him very often. As a pitch on the outside corner, called a strike. One and two to Staley. Uh, the sleeve works for me. I think that's the best place you can put it. I don't like it on the, no, on the it should chest. not be on the chest. Yeah. So, you can agree there. But it is a nice touch, and it's well earned by these four girls for the Black Knights who have put in a lot of time through their four years. They're the defending two-time runner-up in this conference and are trying to go out on a high note here in the spring of 2017. That's the 2-2 pitch. Grounded up the middle, Brenda Garcia fields, throws over to first in time, and Staley is down. No runs, no hits, one error, and one left on. We will head to the six. It is still two nothing from Stanford High on the HAN Network. Wild Birds Unlimited. At Wild Birds Unlimited of Brookfield, get expert advice from our certified bird feeding specialists. We offer always fresh, clean seed that will be sure to attract birds to your home feeder. Experience our excellent customer service. Open seven days a week. Visit us at 317 Federal Road, Brookfield. Wild Birds Unlimited. We bring people and nature together. Pizza to satisfy even the most demanding critics. Choosy Pazza Pizza.
Top of the sixth at Stanford High, and Staley looking to continue working. She is just six outs away from the complete game win. The Bears will come with the top of the order, though. Troetti, Suda, and Sig Limpaglio. This will be a huge stand for the Bears to make here as they try to chip away at this deficit. And if I'm Norwalk, I'm going to be thrilled that you get your leadoff hitter starting off here in the top of the sixth with Troetti. Even though she's 0 for 2, someone who can get on base is the reason why she's batting that top spot in the lineup. As it's popped up and Kuskuna quickly out of her stance and over to her left. Takes that one in foul territory. There is one away. That's a huge first out for Sarah Staley here in the sixth inning. One pitch, one out. Great job by Kuskuna there. I was going to say, I, I might try bunt there too. It was the first time in a while we'd seen the corners back from the Black Knights. You know, it was a late attempt at the bunt too. Popped it up. As this one lined to short. Sericchio can only get a piece of it as it gets underneath her glove. Hit hard enough. We'll score it a single as Suda on with one away. Yeah, she had to go reach out to her left there. Hard hit. Yeah, you gotta give her you gotta give her a hit on that. As this one bunted foul. Uh, Sigma Paglia trying to lay that down. You hear that coach saying, drive it. See if that's maybe a play a little cat and mouse here. Here is the 0-1. Outside, pitch out. Kuskuna throwing a first. And just missed. If Picking Lorna, off Suda. If Lorna and Neil could grab it onto that, place the tag. She's out at first base. Tori has not been shy about throwing down base pass to keep an eye on the runners. Here's the 1-1. Down low. And it moves to 2-1. She's got a great arm too, so if Norwalk decides to steal here. Piscuna has a good arm, so that's something they have to keep an eye on. That's a ground to the left side. Big hop there, and it hand cluffed Mattioli. This could be the break that Norwalk needs right now. That was a ball hit hard enough where you thought there might be a chance to turn two. Took a nasty hop. Might have caught Mattioli on the bare hand as she's flexing that wrist right now. Appears to be okay though. But you've got two on. And Dina de Blasio up at the dish. She fouls off the first pitch from the left hander. Staley ahead 0-1. Lauren O'Neill just needs to, uh, Sarah Staley just needs to stay composed here on the mound. Only one out here. Just attack these hitters. That one up high, and the count one and one. But if there's anyone she needs to be careful of, it's her, Dina de Blasio here. She's got a great swing. She's got a little pop in the bat, too. As the off-speed pitch is flied out to center field, Marjorie and Fields at the warning track. Fires right back in, and the runners will stay put. It was an off-speed pitch, and de Blasio just had that double clutch. Did not miss by much, though. She didn't. You know, you leave that hanger. That's something I, I was about to say and be worried about if I'm Sarah Staley. Don't leave anything, any breaking balls over the middle of the plate. Just missed a home run by a few feet. And that brings up the first baseman, Jess Otto. Two ground outs back to the mound, and this one towards third base is a fair ball. Tagging third is Santora, and that's the way the inning will end. No runs, one hit, one error, two left on. Heading to the bottom of the six, it is 2-0 in favor of the Black Knights. 
Family and Children's Aid has been serving the community since 1809 and is now the largest outpatient children's mental health care provider in Western Connecticut. Our innovative services include providing shelter to homeless moms and children, substance abuse intervention, mental health counseling, and foster and adoptive services, among others. Our goal is to provide individuals and families a safe haven and hope for a brighter future. Find out more about us at fcaweb.org and call our Danbury campus at 203 748 Bottom of the six coming up, it will be five, six, seven in the Stanford order. Sericchio Cascuna and Mattioli coming to the dish. Uh, we were talking about that last ball there in between the break. Looked at the replay. It was a fair ball, but very, very close. It you know, definitely hugged the line for a while there. You wondered if Santoro was going to let that one roll foul. She played it, got the five unassisted, but... Boy, that certainly was close. You didn't hear any Norwalk coaches complain about it at all. As the first pitch is a fair ball, lying down the left field line. Heading for second is Sericchio. She slides in safely with a leadoff double as Garcia again seeing a leadoff batter get the best of her. Now that one was fair. No close. doubt about that. That close, was but it was fair. Snap hooking line drive just over the top of the bag. Skipped over the line behind it. Great hustle from Sericchio. She's on second with the big bat of Tori Cascuna. As she hits one out to left field, back towards the fence, and it's gone! Have a day. Two home runs in one game. I think she wants more than just that athlete of the week. Break. I think she wants to win it again as Cascuna delivers her second long ball, doubling the lead one more time. It is 4 0 Black Knights in the bottom of the sixth. That was a no doubter, Frank. That thing came off the, the end of the bat. You just knew that thing definitely had a chance at getting out of there. What a shot by Cascuna. She's loving that in that sixth spot in the lineup. Providing a little power towards the end of that of this lineup. What a shot. So Sericchio starts it off with the double. Cascuna responds with the homer. Now Garcia has got to regain control here. Nobody out. And Mattioli standing in there 2-0 as there will be a meeting at the mound as the Bears want to talk this one over. We'll see if they decide to take her out here. No one has really warmed up for the Norwalk Bears. Got the infield assembled behind the pitcher's circle. That's Truetti. And the manager talking it over with Garcia. Again, she has not pitched poorly three innings where the leadoff hitters got the best of her. I mean, talk about especially two pitches that she'd love to have back, especially against Cascuna that she's taking her yard. But you, know, you talk about that other leadoff hit by Lauren O'Neill back in the first inning. You know, if she doesn't give up that hit, you know, maybe this is a totally different game. Maybe it's 3 nothing now, but, you know, it's still 4 nothing. A lot, plenty of opportunity for Norwalk to plant a rally. So they only have three outs remaining. Garcia is going to stay in there. Just missed outside, 3-0 to Mattioli. Very close, so she you can see all game long she's been trying to get that outside part of the plate. She just hasn't been getting that call. As that one down the heart of the plate for a strike. And the count 3-1. We 
Yanni Garcia trying to bounce back. Went down in the dirt, though. Kev, I could be wrong, but I think that might be the first Black Knight to walk this afternoon. It is. First walk. They've been so aggressive at the plate that they haven't really <laughs> needed to be patient. Good job, though, by Mattioli. As here is Osborne taking inside the count one and out, and it's a testament to the job by Garcia, too, because she has not missed the strike zone that often today. You're right. You know, she, We talked about that missing that outside part of the black that she's been wanting to get that call from all game long. As this one flied out to center field, back at the wall, reaching up, got a piece so it stayed in play. Heading to third is Mattioli, and on with the deepest possible single she could hit is Kristen Osborne. Boy, that also had a great opportunity to go out. Left that ball up in the strike zone, she drove it out to dead center field. I think Suda got a piece of it with the glove, which might have just kept it in the park. But either way, the first four hitters of the inning have reached base. There's two on, nobody out, with runners on the corners. And now stepping out is Yakovone. Pick up a sign from the first base coach. Still no outs here. Infield is going to play in the runners on the corners. Nice pitch. That one. Striped in there for a strike. 0 oh 1 is Garcia finally ahead here in the inning. And Osborne still second base on that play. Heads up play. So we are going to see Kristen Osborne be pinch ran for here. That is the second time that Osborne has come down. So she is out of the game. It is Yakovone back in there pinch running. Kira at the dish. And Baselin is on second now. So Stall Terry will be in the game now for Osborne. Looks like she'll, depending on what the coaching staff decides to do, right now she is the right fielder. See what they decide to do between half innings. Runners on second and third, nobody out. The number nine hitter, Yakovone at the dish. She takes outside in the count one and two. Stanford, these black knight hitters, been really patient at the plate this half inning. Really working the counts deep. As Yakovone hits one down the right field line, but it just tails foul. Good poke, though, out the right field. Trying to go the opposite way. Just foul. I just couldn't quite catch up with that one. So it'll be a one-two pitch again from Garcia. And it's fouled off one more time. Well, it stays one and two. Here is the pitch. This one ripped out to right field. One run will score. Yakovon being waved home. The throw to the plate is cut off. It is a two-run single for Kira Yakovone. Great piece of hitting there by Kira. You see her in that ball that she hit down the right field line and went foul. You can tell that she's trying to poke that ball to right field. She does it again. Great piece of hitting. Stanford extends their lead here even bigger. Still nobody warming up for the Bears. As we're back to the top of the order now. Now Neal takes a pitch for a strike. So now a 6-0 Stanford lead. As they have broken this one open here late. Just three outs away from clinching a victory, but Norwalk still needs to register three outs here at the bottom of the sixth. The way Sarah Staley is pitching, I don't know if they can do it. As this one 
So a bloop to center field, Suda charging, able to make the play. There is one away. Second time this afternoon, O'Neill has flied out to center. That was just what Garcia ordered. And she needed that out. She needed to get that first out, plain and simple. And it's not gonna be easy here with two, three, four up. As Santora rips one right back up the middle into center field. Stopping at second is Yakovone, and it's a one-out single here in the sixth. Nice piece of hitting there by Maddie Santora. Drives that one right back up the middle. Good piece of hitting. So it'll be Ali Buzio coming to the plate. One for three this afternoon, but has been on base all three times, reaching with an error and a fielder's choice in the first and the fifth. She singled in the third. As she swings at the first pitch and fouls one to the Norwalk dugout, it is 0-1. You know, Garcia has pitched really well, but you know, especially in this half inning, you know, how much how much left does she have right now? She's looking a little fatigued on the mound. You know, as, as the manager, when do you decide that it's time for a change if it continues to go south here? As that one off the glove of Garcia, Brenda was able to field behind her, but can't get it to first in time. And now the bases are loaded after another infield single. Coming up now is Sarah Staley with the bases loaded and one out. And I don't want to make you any more nervous, Kev, but in the hole right now, Tori Cascuna. My goodness, that could that could be it. That could be an interesting stat in one inning. Well, we saw Gabby Lasona of West Hill not too long ago had two home runs in the seventh inning, including a grand slam. She had seven RBIs in that inning. That was all in the seventh. As Staley rips one into the right center gap, it'll roll all the way to the fence. Two runs will score. Buzio being waved around third will head for home. The throw does not come. And it is a three run double. For Sarah Staley and the lead is nine. And I think this, is, this has gotta be it now. For Garcia, nine nothing. This is just deflating for her, I, I, you know, besides this inning. She's looked, she's looked terrific. As Elaine Gratrix, manager for the Bears, is out at the mound right now. Ball being waved in here from left field. As it'll be the left fielder, Mia Lanzarato, who will come in and assume the pitching duties. We are yet to find a left fielder. We'll know who it is when we get back. Take a quick break on the HGN Network. Part of Banking Well is doing good. That's why, with the support of local community partners, Bankwell has launched the Bankwell Pet Adoption Project to boost awareness about the hundreds of animals in local shelters that need a home. And when you donate to the cause using the Bankwell self-service coin machines, we'll match your donation. For details, visit mybankwell.com slash please adopt me. Bank smart, bank local, bank well. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. Mr. Handyman, Have a sports injury or a slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Biking, golf, tennis, soccer, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. 
Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care open Monday through Saturday, now at three locations. 131 Kings Highway North in Westport, the iPark Building at 761 Main Avenue Norwalk, and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. Back at Stanford High, it will be Mia Lanzarato. Assuming the pitching duties here with one out. Bottom of the sixth, Sarah Staley on second. And making her second appearance at the plate this inning, the shortstop, Dana Sericchio, as she fouls one off to the right side out of play. We will do it again. You're right, Frank, on deck is Koskuna. So should Koskuna get up and Sericchio reaches base here, she will have an opportunity to win the game. After the fifth inning, a 12-run lead. Will represent the mercy roll as the ball was bobbled in center field. Staley taking advantage and comes home. Well, Frank, Sarah Staley actually stopped at third base, hesitated, then decided to run home. So luckily, Norwalk didn't recognize that, didn't get the ball in soon enough. And here he is. Kaskuna, she homered back at the start of the inning, just nine batters ago. She has got two this afternoon. A home run here would end it, and I'm sorry I cut you off. I just said that, you know, for, for Norwalk, they still didn't get the ball in soon enough. Yeah. So Sarah Staley was lucky enough that she wasn't tagged out at home plate. As that one got me. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. If only we had a camera in here just to see Frank's reaction after that. It's Kaskuna wow. fouls one back hard to her right. Jumped out of your boots there. I think I lost a penny in my loafer. <laughs> oh, and this is, I don't know, they're going to say it was at the letters, one and two the count to Kaskuna. Three for three today, two home runs and three RBIs in the offbeat pitch, which is, uh, misses up over the top. And it's two and two. Not a batter, you can make a mistake against. Lanzarado, very patient in her dealings. Ooh, this Good one. pitch though. She was right on that, Frank. She just missed it. You see, whenever you hit a ball right back to the backstop, you just miss it. Great opportunity, though. There is the 2-2. Two -two. Cut on and missed. Strike three. Lanzarato gets her. And there are two away in the inning. As Mattioli will head up to the plate. She walked earlier in this inning as well. Second time through the order. Stanford has added eight runs here in the sixth. As this one grounded to short. Good job playing that hop. Throw over to first from Siglin Paglia is in time. And that is how the inning will end, but plenty of damage done. Eight runs on plenty of hits and none bigger than Kaskuna's second homer of the afternoon. Bears coming up for the last time here in the seventh on the HAN Network. <laughs> At the Milford Bank, we offer an extensive selection of lending products and services to meet virtually any need. Submit your application online in our mortgage web center. Start to finish, you can apply for a loan in as little as 10 minutes. Our knowledgeable and helpful staff are available to meet with you at your convenience. To learn more about what we can do for you, stop by one of our Milford Bank offices or visit us at milfordbank.com. The Milford Bank, always there. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Spring has sprung at Walter Stewart's Market, and we're celebrating the new season with fresh takes on spring. From the finest produce around to guaranteed fresh seafood delivered daily by the best local supplier. Not only are we your time-saving one-stop shop for everything you need this season, our personable team is always ready with a helping hand. Shop Stewart's for the best of spring. Find us at 229 Elm Street, New Canaan, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. Top half of the seventh inning. Norwalk chasing 10 after the eight run pylon from the Black Knights in the sixth. 
It'll be Catino to start it as she ropes one out to the left center gap. And it is a leadoff single for Gabriella Catino. Nice piece of hitting there by Catino. Pitch left over in the middle of the plate, smacks it. Right in the left center field for a base hit. Good start for the Norwalk Bears here for their last licks. Uh, Staley throws a change up there. They're gonna say it was caught at third. Nice job by Santoro who was playing up. Good instincts over there, good awareness. She's been great in the hot corner all game long. Making some nice plays over there. She's got that great glove. They are one away. Santora two out, excuse me, that is Staley just two outs away now as a grounder to short. Flip to second, looking to turn it here. Is it in time? No. Good effort though. Sirikio and Mattioli in sync on that one, just missed. It was a good turn. Brianna Garcia just too fast down that baseline. And here is Brenda Garcia with two away now as the Bears down to their last out in the seventh. Sarah Staley is just going to go after these hitters now. She's got a 10 run cushion. Two strikes now, two outs, excuse me. As this one popped up on the right side, is it going to stay fair? Yes. Throw will be cut off by Staley and a good job by Garcia fighting off that pitch. Drops for an infield single. Runner advances to third and now the top of the order comes back up. Hit it where they ain't. You know what they call that, Frank? A seeing eye single. Hey, you gotta keep this rally going somehow. Doesn't matter how, how ugly it looks. Nice piece of hitting by Brenda Garcia. Just to poke that one in the right field. I believe they call that a dying pigeon. <laughs> As here is Truetti. She grounds one to the right side. O'Neill takes it off a hop at first and puts it away herself. And that is all she wrote. Final from Stanford, the Black Knights 10. The Bears nothing. The eight run sixth inning proving to be the difference. And of course, the big bat of Tori Kaskuna playing a huge part in today's win. We'll step aside and when we get back, Kevin will share his final thoughts on what we saw today in Stanford's win. Right after this on the HAN Network. At InSports Trumbull, the game is always on inside. Signups are now open for one of our most popular programs, the New England 80 Elite Lacrosse Division I and Division III Showcases. With D1 and D3 coaches in attendance, players will receive a 60-minute webinar with Director of Recruiting Hans Hansen, a custom NE80 penny, custom shorts, and a video of all games. Last year's event sold out quickly, so sign up now for the next showcase coming in January 2018. Like and follow us on Facebook. Want a new experience in car buying? Step Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram with one of the largest inventories of new two- and four-door Wranglers. We are Connecticut's Wrangler headquarters. Come visit our new Ram Truck Center. Browse our websites, scapchryslerjeep.com or scapdodge.net to find the new Jeep, Chrysler Dodge car, minivan, or Ram truck you've been looking for. Just two miles from both I-95 or the Merritt Parkway exit 44. Save thousands right now during the Drive and Discover event. Now through May 31st. If you're watching this broadcast, you're not alone. The HAN Network is available for 200,000 Connecticut cable customers on the Frontier Network. And we've also reached more than 2 million viewers on our free live streaming sports, news, and entertainment broadcasts. To reach our rapidly growing audience, contact Advertising Director Jessica Murren at 203-273-7312 or email jessica at han.network. Back at Stanford High on the HAN Network. Final score, Black Knights 10, the Norwalk Bears nothing. Stanford remains atop the FCI Conference for the time being at least. They do sit behind Darien per the tiebreaker loss, but if you're Stanford, Kev, you've got to be feeling good about the way you're playing right now. All right, especially this part of the season where you're getting closer and closer to playoff time 
and the hitting has to feel you, you had if you're the head coach Tony Esposito you have to be thrilled with the way you're hitting and if Cascuna can continue to play this lights out softball with the bat I mean my goodness this is going to be a scary team going to the FCAC playoffs for Norwalk, it obviously does not look as bad as the scoreboard says. You played this game so well, and really there were two situations, first batter in the first, first batter in the second, that made this a 2 nothing game until the sixth inning. It's a tough loss to swallow, but you're still going to probably be in the top four there. They've got to find a way to keep their heads up. They do, they, and they will. This is, a, this is a very good program. This is a strong team that has a lot of talent. You know, They just ran into a rough inning where Stanford really found their bats. So that's going to do it from Stanford High. The Black Knights 10 and the Bears 0. We are at 12.30. Not making for us, Frank. Kevin, at 2 o'clock. We're in Richfield High tomorrow. Tiger Hollow. Girls lacrosse. Tigers hosting from Canaan. Should be a lot of fun. Thank you again for tuning in to the home of FCX Sports, HAN Network.